Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome back to the world of Cave Story. In the last episode, we went ahead through the labyrinth that we were forced into by misery, and we reunited with our old friend Curly Brace. But what is most important is that we got introduced to me, the one and only 8-Bit Solid Snake. That's so solid, it wiggles around and isn't solid in the slightest. It's like a flame or something. I think it's like a gas or something. Gas is funny, because farts. You know what else is funny than about farts? Cheese, cutting the cheese, because I gotta shove cheese into literally every single one of these episodes, because my commentary must be repetitive at all times. In this episode, we're gonna do something I don't know, singing out. Like I said in the last episode, do not talk to the doctor. If you do so, not the doctor, his name is Booster. He's not the doctor. Shouldn't get him mixed up. He is a doctor, presumably, or I don't know. Anyone with glasses and a lab coat, I just assume is a doctor, basically. What evs? Do not talk to him because he will activate the bad ending and you cannot get the good ending if you do so. If you do talk to him, he will give you a uh, upgrade known as the Booster. Yeah, his name is Booster and he gives you a booster. How hilarious. However, you do not want it. Even though it's really good, you don't want it. Just wait for it later. All right, you gonna trust in your old Uncle Midnight? Okay then, good. Now my question is, can we get to that healing point? Uh, pff, well, not like that. Uh, doesn't look like it. We would be able to if we had the machine gun. <laughs> I miss my machine gun so stinking much. Uh, and I could really use a healing right up, what the, right about now? Wow, this entire episode is just going to be spent on me trying to make the sting and jump. That is impossible. I wasn't even trying to make it that time. Ugh. Also, what the heck is this red thing supposed to be? I don't think I don't know. Whatever. Jump. Oh, is it supposed to be like a mark on the ground telling you when to jump or something? That would be neato, but it seems too far away for that. Uh, trust in it. Okay, then I guess that's what it is. I could give you one of those up here so I could get the healing. Oh well, I guess we're going in. 13 HP. Hey, look who it is. It's Curly Brace. You made it! I've been waiting for you to get here all this time. If this rock is moved, we can continue onwards to the labyrinth exit. Rumor has it that there's a creature's lair up ahead. Be prepared for anything. Well then, let's move this boulder to the side. Hold that end and then let's go! Oof. Hmm, it won't move at all. Maybe it's impossible to move it with only the two of us. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's you! <laughs> so you are alive. And on top of that, you two are trying to escape the labyrinth. Shouldn't you be resting instead of trying to make an escape, eh? Remember that you can't defy the master any more than I can. Fine then, I'm ending this. Just stay here with the rest of the scrap metal. Oh, this is perfect. You can grab the middle. Ready? Are you two even listening to me at all? Of course, we're not actually gonna have him help us out. She's out, <laughs> speaking of out. Okay, we gotta fight Balrog again with 10 HP, and I can't even breathe right now, it's like so stinking intense. Oh jeez, why did I even do that for? Alright then. Uh, I 100% doubt I could do this. I actually didn't even remember this boss fight was here. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go into a bunch of enemies and die because I only have 13 HP. No, I'm gonna go into a boss and die because I only have 13 HP. Alright, I'm gonna try and jump onto that thing again. I'll see how it works and hopefully my voice will come back. Jeez, what the fruit even happened? I hate that if you miss the jump. Oh, they want you to use the booster, that's why. But I don't have to push the burn. Well, I wasn't able to go ahead and get that healing block, but I was able to beat up a bunch of enemies outside and get my health back a little bit. Hopefully it'll be enough to get this job done. I don't think so though, jeez. I don't think so, jeez, okay. Come on, let's go. We're already halfway there. The level two king sword is like crazy powerful. It's just like a matter of keeping it at level three though, because it, like, it goes down to level two in like one hit, which is really annoying, but it also goes back up to level three maximum in like one piece of cheese, which is also nice. Alright, and wow, I didn't even notice that I beat him, that was so awesome. Defeated again. I'll move the rock for you, but in return, 
keep the fact that I helped move it for you a secret. Don't you worry. Here goes. <laughs> Got it? Me helping you guys, it's our little secret. Right. And he poops out a treasure chest. He might actually be one of the good guys. Alright, go ahead and get the uh, missiles are powered up. That's nice. We didn't even use any in that fight. And get a save point. Come on! It's onto the lair. It's uh, in, uh, in, uh, in it's onto the lair. That's a weird sentence. Alright, Curly Brace is actually going to be helping us out in this. Hooray! So I don't have to feel so lonely anymore. Uh, if only the machine gun could reach that heart! So, so sad, so taunting. Now, if you took the machine gun from her back in, uh, when you first met her, she will be using your Polar Star weapon in this area, but since she, uh, never traded, or we never traded with her, she still has it, so she'll be using that in this area. So I guess that's sort of nice, because it's definitely a better weapon than the Polar Star, and it, uh, will be a lot more useful. Curly does not have the best AI, so she's not gonna be, like, kicking major booty. In this area, so don't really rely on her to get everything done for you. She's just there as like a little extra backup, a little extra little bonus damage that you wouldn't have gotten normally. And I don't know how many times I'm gonna say little extra in this explanation, but whatever. Uh, as you can see as well, uh, if you wanna follow me back over here or just run over there. Uh, okay, she's actually getting some stuff done. Uh, she also, as you can see, like she never got hurt by enemies, so you don't have to worry about protecting her or keeping her alive. She also has a bubble around her. She has like a special machine thingy that allows her to breathe underwater. So. Basically, she's invincible, and we are left to just uh, take on the majority of the work and the majority of the damage. Hooray for us. Oh, goody. So let's go and get this cheese and get rid of this guy. If we can. It's like, all the enemies are so stinking happy. It's like, you can't really be mad at them. Like, it does a good job of making you not too angry with this game, I've realized. Um, like, you're going to be dying a lot and, like, having to re redo a bunch of stuff, but it's quick enough to get back to where you were, and also the enemies are just really stinking happy, so it's easy to make you like not angry i guess you can see it as them being like as them taunting you because they're like oh i'm so happy you just died <laughs> but it's not like in a jerkish way like in pikmin 2 of the like um the withering blow hog that doesn't even do any damage to you well i guess this will give me time to talk oh you better not taunt me with that giant honking piece of cheddar okay there we go all right so as i was saying it's not like those thing in withering blow hog and pikmin 2 that like laughs at you it doesn't even do any damage to your pikmin just deflowers them and like it laughs whenever you um whenever it gets that done and then like it taunts you makes you angry and like it distracts you it's like a really cool tactic on the game development side but whatever jesus christ well this is already gonna end poorly so i don't even know why i'm even bothering talking right now because i'm gonna die in like a matter of five stinging seconds oh hey i managed to get an entire sentence out before dying and there you go as soon as i acknowledge it i died okay we are back guys let's not have this happen again shall we Oh, I missed the machine gun. Oh, I like how uh, my new catchphrase has gone from just get the cheese to I missed the machine gun. <laughs> this one's filled with sorrow, and cheese is filled with happiness, and cheese. Cheese is also filled with cheese. Okay, go. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 Get out of there. Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. I need some hearts. Give me some. Oh, Jesus, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Give me some hearts, 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 hearts. There are no stinking hearts anywhere to be seen. I have one HP, I'm going to die. This is not fun in the slightest, but I must persevere even though this platform's really annoying, you know. I really hate it. Okay, all that for two stinking HP. Uh, nothing really. All right, then, just give me a checkpoint or something. Uh, hello, I didn't think that would happen. All right, and that's a gust of wind to take me back up, I guess, if I wanted to. Uh, give me a heart. I want some hearts. Got nothing. I guess you could just, like, try and sit back and let uh, Curly do everything, but, like, it's very iffy on whether or not she'll actually do anything worthwhile. So, it's, like, not really even worth it. Oh, geez, those things. I forgot about those things. Uh, it's like a Metroid or like a like like or something. Come on, Curly, go ahead and be useful. Do something. Get rid of it. Come on, you're doing it. You're doing it. If it was with the Polar Star, I wouldn't even bother. But maybe she could do it. Come on, Curly. There's so many hearts there. I gotta get them. How are you spouting so many hearts and I can't get a single one because I don't have the machine gun? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, get those hearts. I need those hearts. Oh my God, I need to get the hearts. 
Oh, get up there. There we go. All right, level up. Get a heart. I somehow have more hearts than when I started, so I guess that's okay despite all the damage I took. All right, get all those guys. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Oh, balls and a balls there. Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, I need those hearts. I need the hearts. I need a chiropractor. Oh my golly, gee, I'm all the way back here. <sighs> Since when can this thing shoot through walls? Since when is this back at level one? Okay, the missile launcher was a completely new missile launcher and it goes back to level one, apparently. Oh, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not doing the missile launcher right now. I'm waiting until I get a single checkpoint. I'm not even gonna even bother focusing on that. Oh boy, let's see, here comes the Metroids. I don't even know what a Metroid is, because I never played a Metroid game besides other M. Uh, the Bebe, that's all I need to know is that the Bebe is Bebe. Do not shake the Bebe. That'd be a funny sequel to Babysitting Mom and just play Metroid other M. Oh, just go through here, get the hearts. Oh, I need air and hearts and air and hearts and air and hearts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that was a lot of stinking cheese. Okay. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Wasting time. Waste of my time. Go through here. And okay, at least it gave me air, but it's not the way we should go. We should go this way so I don't drown, even though Curly could help me but doesn't. Ugh! Oh my god, my throat's st really stinking hurts. I really wish I could go I could go about this at my own leisurely pace, but I can't because I gotta return to GameStop within a week. Oh, especially like a game just this frustrating. Why don't go and work on other projects and like it's so short, but I shouldn't have this much trouble with it. Or just like it's like having to finish a race that's like just ten feet ahead, but you have two million pound weights on your ankles. That's basically what this LP is like. So, I don't know. Whatever, I'm still having fun with it, so just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh god, now is a really good time to know that this thing could shoot through walls. He could walk through walls, disappear, and fly! He's a lot more fly than the other guy. I can't remember the words. Oh, and I can't believe Butch Harbin confirmed that it says, the intro says, Yun Denny Fenton, or Yun Denny, Yun Danny Fenton, not Yo Danny Fenton. How dare he ruin my nostalgia childhood. I don't see, you know, whatever. <laughs> I like, oh, okay. I like how it just like disappeared and Curly was balls in a ball sack. Curly was my ball in a ball sack. What? No, go in here. God stinking darn it. I like how Curly was just on that platform and then just disappeared. Like no animation. It was just like, <laughs> all right. But yeah, that's how brings us back to you to the shop. Awesome. Do you have anything new for us? I'm wondering. Uh... Okay then, so someone named Jenka, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the auntie granny lady. She put them all here to protect us, but they don't remember why they were being protected. That's weird, okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut away and like try and level up the missile just so I can do that. I'm just gonna grind over here if you guys don't mind. So, cutting away. Who needs a healing point when I could just go into the fray and... I told you I made it all the way back to this point without dying in the first stinking try. Yeah, neither would I, but I seriously did. I feel proud of my stinking self, but my god, that's a trollish stinking move. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Give us a stinking halfway save point just to take it away from us if we don't have the machine gun or the booster? 
Oh my god. Like, I'm just too sting and tired to even, like, have any sort of freak. I was just like, oh. Oh, this is happening right now. I see how it is. You don't let, want me to be happy in this world. I get it. I see how it is. Oh, uh, I am midnight and what is winning? <laughs> okay, let's just keep going. <laughs> These things, I don't know what the heck their dizzy deal is, but they don't seem too difficult. Of course, now they said that, I'm gonna die instantly. Oh, jeez. Okay, still maintaining somewhat full health. All right, just get rid of the small balls first. It seems to be the smart idea, because then the, if you beat the big one, then the small ones just run after you, but if you get rid of the small ones, the big one just stays still, which is nice. All right, then. Oh, and there was a stinking save point here anyway. What the fruit even is this game? Are we still in the labyrinth? We can't pass through here. We're going to have to keep moving forward. Okay. Now that we have a save point, I can just calm down a bit. Let's just have a nice zen moment with a nice rising water and everything like that. Nice little waves. Looks very nice. Uh, okay, time's up. Let's get out of here. The core. This is a strange place. Was it some kind of base? Hmm. Well, we're in at least. We gotta watch her walk all the way there before we're able to move. Oh, a blaster number four currently malfunctioning. Okay then, what's that all about? This blast door. It's only opened halfway. I think it must be caught on something. No, literally, you have to blast the blaster, but I don't get it. What are you complaining about? Like, we can walk through just fine. What, what's the dizzy deal? You hear the sound of something breaking free. Why was that necessary? I really don't get it. And this thing? Blast door after blast door. There's something behind all this crazy security. Don't you think so too? Looks like it. All right then. Go over here. Lower the lift. Lift lowered. Thank you for telling me that because I could not have known otherwise. Rush through here, through the water and the flames, even though it is in fire and flames. Uh, if we can make it up here, that'd be nice. Thank you. And that'll open the final blast door. Blast door opened. Alright, now we gotta head all the way back. I would recommend you save real quick because, oh my golly gee Wilkers, we made it five steps into a new room. I wonder what that's gonna, what, gonna lead to. All right then, go in here, back to the save point, because I really want to go through all those slow little dialogue screens again. And now, time for another episode of You Gotta Do Something Very Obscure and uh, Not Very Clear in order to get the best ending in the game. Do not talk to Curly when you get over here. You need to go over here and collect this shiny thing. Something wrapped around a broken robot's arm. Will you take it? Obtain the tow rope. All right, you cannot collect that if you come here after talking to Curly, who's up there. You have to get it right this second. So, yeah, do that and stuff. But now that's taken care of, let's see what she found. Look, a soldier from the surface? He's been nearly destroyed. There are others like this one all over the place. Who did this? It couldn't have been the Mamiga. How could this happen? It's still functional? Rebooting. Team 9 terminated. Unable to eliminate the target. Destruction of target is impossible with currently equipped firepower. Retreat. Retreat. Out again? <laughs> Yeah, what the heck caused that explosion that would be so epic? Hello! Okay, yeah, we gotta fight this big old honky jonky thing. And all on our own, he's throwing a bunch of things at us. Not gonna say what it looks like, because I am more mature than that. Maybe the Midnight Beyond of the past may pull such a lame stunt like that. Oh, hey, you're awake. Okay, then. So, yeah, she actually is going to help us out in this fight. Uh, the little arms are not necessary. They are just sort of there as a distraction. If you get rid of them, then it'll be easier to hit the core. And, yeah, this thing is called the core. 
And yeah, just keep on shooting, as usual. It's cave story. You just blast, blast, blast till you're done in the past or something. I don't know. Just keep on going. I'm surprised at how much damage I'm doing. Just standing right here. Got all these hearts as well to pick up afterwards. All right, very nice. Uh, why are you not taking damage? Oh, geez, that's a current, that's a current, that's a current. Uh, gotta deal with these current events. Yeah, you also have to deal with the water going up and down, making so you have to maintain your air meter and make sure you're like paying attention to all the uh, projectiles. Oh, geez. That wasn't good. You do not want to stay on this lower level, even though the uh, tide... No, the tide doesn't even come down here. Okay. So, yeah, you need to stay as high up as you can throughout the majority of this fight. Uh, anytime you want to come back down, that'd be great, bud. Maybe? Possibly? Um, you're really starting to worry me here. Okay, then. Uh, just get rid of all this junk, if we can. Uh, is this robot? No, the robot's not in the way. I was kind of concerned for a second. Oh, jeez. Am I supposed to get rid of the things? I don't know. All right, then. Maybe just getting rid of the arms just so they're not in the way. That'd be nice. And probably still doing damage, which is awesome. All right. Come on. Come on. Get back down here, current. I need to breathe. Ugh. All right, then. God darn it. I keep bringing this thing to things that are in. Oh, there's a wind current and a water current. Okay, then. I'll see how... I see how it is. Thinking logic. In other words, not at all logic. Oh, we're down to level one. Harry, how about those, some, some missiles up in this hizzy? Oh, I'll finish the job. Jeez. I just want to wait for the current. Oh my Christ. I have no idea how I'm doing this so well this time. Oh my God, how is this the easiest boss in the history of the universe? I have no idea. What, he's down to zero HP, are you serious? I stopped talking, I was like, oh, we did it, it's amazing. But no, he's still sticking alive, come on. Go up here, literally, I just need to breathe on it and they'll be down. You did it! Oh. Hey, that's the same witch who zapped me. Are those children safe? Shut it! Don't act like you're a mother. Do you even know what this thing is? Huh? This is the reason why I hate robots! It's the heart of the island. The island will fall if this stops. Do you really want to die along with the island? You stupid fool! Misery! What are you doing? Move the core to the lab now. While you still have time. Ah!